Hello my friends, welcome to the channel and today in this quick tip tutorial video I'm gonna show you how to create stills or freeze frames and I'm gonna show you four different ways to do it and one of the ways is actually gonna create a file on the hard drive and another one is just gonna insert it in the project without creating an extra file on the hard drive. Let's go ahead and start it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos, they're gonna be coming out soon and if you find this video helpful please give it a like, this is gonna help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful interesting videos for Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so as you can see, I have a few files here and I'm just as decided I'm gonna work with this file right now because there is some action going on and there is some ducks moving so you can actually create a freeze frame and you know that it's actual freeze frame unlike some other ones where it's kind of hard to say if anything is moving. Okay, let's go ahead and divide it into two categories. The first way to create freeze frame or still in Adobe Premiere Pro allows you to create the still and save it on the hard drive which means that every time you save it is going to be saved in the folder of your project or wherever you say to Premiere to save it. And there's one thing you got to keep in mind, the freeze frame created from the source monitor, which is this one right here, and program monitor are going to be different. As you can see, there's export frame in source monitor and export frame in program monitor. So basically they're creating the stills from the same kind of file but they're going to be different and I want to highlight it so you know that and to show you the difference how it's working I'm going to go to sequence settings and here you can see it's an actually 4k footage I'm going to change it to full HD okay and then I'm going to go ahead and set it to scale it to frame size and when you do that scale to frame size it actually lowers the resolution of the file on the timeline to fit it in the frame size of the sequence setting so let's go ahead and find uh, some beautiful dog here or something. Oh, there we go. So I like this one right here. So let's go ahead and, and match frame it here in the source monitor. And as you can see, there is two exact same frames. So if I click on this icon right here, I'm just going to call this duck source. This way I know that it's from the source monitor. Let's, let's just call it source monitor. There we go. And then you can also choose the format in which you want to save. You can choose JPEG, BMP. And now here you can go ahead and choose where you want to save it. And I'm just going to save it in my project folder right here. So I'll just go click save. And if you want to import it into the project right away, then make sure you have this check mark right here, then click OK. And now if we go to this project right here, you can see that we have this still already created. And now let's do the same thing with this one right here. So I'm just gonna click on this camera icon and I'm gonna write duck program monitor. Save it with exact same settings into the exact same folder and click OK. There we go. Put it in stills. Now if I go to the project folder, you can see that there is two stills created and one from the program monitor and one from the source monitor. They look exactly the same. And even if I open them and go from one to another, you don't notice any difference at all. But they are a difference. If you look up in the properties for each file, go to details and you can see that it says 3840 by 2160. This is the actual 4K original file size. And if I go to this one and open this one right here and go to the details, you can see that this one is a full HD. So you can see that this file is not the same as this one even though they're made from exact same clip. So this is why you gotta keep in mind when you're creating stills from the source monitor and from the project monitor, because when you create them from the source monitor, it creates it with the same settings as the original file. So if it was 4K footage, it will create the file in 4K resolution. If you do it from the program monitor, it will create it with exact same settings as your sequence settings which one is full HD right now or 1920 by 1080. Okay, so this was the first method to create stills from your clips. And this is a method that creates additional files on your hard drive. And like you saw here, it created two files on my hard drive and you can choose the destination for these files. You can also import them into your project. The other three methods that I'm gonna show you, they do not create these files on the hard drive. You can only use it internally in the Premiere and this is good because if you forget to copy these files to another machine, for example, then this still is not gonna be available. The other three methods allow you to create stills within Premiere project, within Premiere timeline. You just gotta right click on it 
And as you can see, there is a few things you can do. So the first one is add frame hold. And what it means if you click on it, there we go. So this is the steel that was inserted from the place of your play hat all the way to the end of the clip on the right. So this is the first method. If you go ahead and click on it again, you can choose insert frame hold segment. And the keyword in this is a segment. It inserts a segment right here. Basically, it cuts your clip at playhead and then it's insert the frame hold. Let's go ahead and watch it right now. And you can choose how long you want it to be. I'll make it a little bit shorter. This is your second way to create hold segment in Adobe Premiere. And the last method how you can create stills is going to be if you right click on the clip on the timeline and then go to the frame hold options. Here you can choose how you can create a freeze frame from a few different options. For example, if you go here and put a playhead, it's going to create a freeze frame from the frame where the playhead is located. So for example, let's go ahead and click OK. Now the whole clip is just the freeze frame. So it basically converted the whole clip into a free frame. Let's go ahead and just cancel that. So if you go here again, you can also choose the in point, you can choose the out point, and what it means is just gonna pick the first frame from the beginning of the clip or the last frame of the at the end of the clip, and it's just gonna create a freeze frame for the whole clip. It's just gonna convert the whole clip into a freeze frame using those frames. And you can also specify a certain time code on the timeline or in the source monitor, which you wanna use for the freeze frame. Yeah, this is how you create the freeze frame. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know any other ways to create freeze frames using Adobe Premiere, let me know in the comment sections as well. It's gonna be interesting to know, and I'm sure it's gonna help somebody else as well. But this is it for now. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.